Hello, my name is Lancel. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Three Musketeers. Now, the main thing that I was looking for when I was watching this movie was how well it stood up against the book. And they, I think that it did fairly well. Um, they did the characters very well. Athos was a great drunk. You know, Aramis was kind of the priest, and also he's a bit of a ladies' man. They snuck that in a little bit to kind of give him a, a mystery to him. Um, they really captured D'Artagnan as a kind of this youthful kid that's just fresh out, wide-eyed, ready to try anything. You know, they did very well. Christoph Waltz as the Cardinal was very sly, very conniving. He kind of always had a grin on his face. And he didn't really show his emotion even when everything was falling, all his plans were falling apart. And I really enjoyed that. Mia Jovovich is my lady. She did very well. She had that kind of sneer. That just, that look that I always pictured my lady had on her face all throughout the books. Um, As far as the overall feel to it, it felt fairly well. They added a lot of things to it that kind of made it more of a movie, made it more of an action movie. Um, the whole opening just kind of had this Assassin's Creed feel to it that just wasn't anywhere because it made the Musketeers out to be spies to be more exciting than just being guards because that's all the Musketeers were. They were the King's guards. Um... So it was kind of fell out of place for me, but stepping back and just seeing it as a movie, I think it went together fairly well. Um, only a couple very small plot holes that I noticed. Um, the only thing I really didn't like was Planche. Uh, that was very sad. So the thing with Planche was that in the book... He starts out as this kind of, not really a coward, but he just kind of went along with D'Artagnan. He was D'Artagnan's lackey, and he um, was kind of forced into this role. He was, you know, being paid to be the servant. like, oh yeah, great, you know, I'll take it. And then when D'Artagnan didn't have any money to pay him, he just forced him to stay along. And throughout the book, he gained a lot of d'artagnan's um traits he started seeing things a little bit differently he became a little bit more courageous and he be got a little bit more clever as the books went on and that's what i really enjoyed about him and if uh when he goes on to the other books he starts to get his own kind of story but in the movie he's just this coward He's kind of the comic relief, and I understand that in every movie you need a comic relief character, but I just had this, um, I was so attached to the character, and I knew he was going to be in the movie, and then when I saw him, it just made me very sad. So, all in all, it was a good movie, um, just that character and some of the little bit of the story was kind of weird, and it got very ridiculous towards the end. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, next week, I will be watching either Assassination of a High School President. I've been meaning to, I've been saying that for a while. Uh, the Darkest Hour was a movie that came with The Three Musketeers. I'll add that to the list, as well as Kingsman. Uh, another movie that I've really been looking forward to see. So, thank you guys all for watching. It's been a, been a bit of a long video, but that's kind of what I was wanting. You guys have a great day. I will see you next week.